This will be a short video to show how to arrange your files and projects in DaVinci Resolve. I'm going to assume that you're starting with a folder here called Camera, which contains a number of video clips. Um, nothing very interesting here, just a bunch of MOV files in this case. And I'm going to show the best way to organize these on your drive uh, so that you can back up your projects easily and without error. So in DaVinci Resolve, the first thing to do is um, you get the, the project setting here. The first thing to do is open this side panel, which shows your databases. And I always recommend that you set up a new database when you first start using Resolve. Perhaps you've done this already. I have uh, one called My Video, but I'll take you through these steps first. So, um, if you click on new database at the bottom, and we want to create one, not connect to an existing one. There are two types of databases that hold your projects. The uh, PostgreSQL or Postgres is an actual database in a um, special format that makes things a little bit harder to work with. So instead, I prefer just disk databases where the folder structure itself is what dictates the project storage. So I'm going to give this a name. It's called sample because I'm going to delete it after this video. Uh, choose a uh, folder and I'm just going to put it on the desktop. Um, I'm doing this in Windows. The steps are exactly the same on the Mac. I'm going to call this sample and then select that folder. Okay, so I have a new folder here on the desktop called Sample. Uh, there's nothing in it yet. Um, I will create. And here we go. So I have a database called Sample. I, you can actually just close that side panel now because you don't really need to see the other, the other databases. And if I check out the folder, it now has a subfolder called Resolve Projects and within that certain other information. So this will be managed by DaVinci Resolve. We do not need to manage that folder ourselves. And in fact, it gets uh, confusing and error prone if you try. So again, I'm pretending this camera folder is say an SD card or uh, a USB-C hard drive or something else that I've stuck onto my computer. This represents the external um, data from the camera. And I want to put it on my hard drive. So I'm going to create a folder for that as well. I'll just call it assets. Now, normally I wouldn't put this on the desktop. That's a messy way of working, but it's just for convenience so that you can easily see in this video what's going on. So um, here's my assets folder. It's empty. First thing I'll do is copy over the material from my camera. There we go. Now I can close that and I can eject this disk. It's not really a disk, but say it is. I can get rid of that now. And I have my assets here. So new project, right click, new project. I'll call this um, sample demo. Very silly names for the purposes of this. And here we go. So uh, let me look in the media first of all. Have a look in the media storage. I can see all my hard drives. Um, and I can see down here my media pool. Now the easiest way to add things is actually just to go to my assets folder and um, drag them into the media pool. Uh, clips have different frame rates. Would you like the timeline to match? Sure. I'll do that. I'm not setting up my project settings or anything else in this video, which I probably should be doing down here um, to make sure that I have the correct timeline resolution and frame rate and so on. But um, DaVinci does have that nice little um, prompt that we just saw that will automatically uh, do that for us for this corresponding um, group of files, assuming that they're all the same, of course. So, um, right, let me just do something very, very simple in the edit 
uh, workspace. Um, look at my media pool here. I'll just drag some in. Um, zoom out. Right, something like that. And I go, okay, here's my finished project. I'll just save my work. Okay, so this is my finished um, video. Not very interesting. It's very dark here. It's an installation that I did in uh, Portugal at some point that was filmed for me. Anyway, um, in the project manager, which you can get to with this little home key down here, I've got my sample video. Now, if I want to share this with somebody, um, the first thing I do is clean up the project, I suppose. I would make sure that it's uh, as I wish. So in this example, I'm only using three clips. I'm not using these other clips. Uh, so if I decide well and truly that I'm never going to need them, it's just easier to remove them from the bin. So which ones did I use? There's my timeline. There's 6121. 11922. Two. Okay, so I didn't use these either. So let me get rid of those. Remove them since I'm not using them. That doesn't remove them from the hard drive, of course. They are still there in my assets folder. It merely removes them from this particular project. So no harm done. If I decide I need them again, I can just add them to my, my media pool one more time. Okay, save the project have a look at my project management screen. Now the best way to share this project or to back it up is to right click and choose export project archive. Not export project or these other options, but export project archive. You can forget these other options exist. Uh, I wish there was a way of removing them from this menu to prevent confusion, but just forget they exist. Export Project Archive. Um, pick somewhere for that to go. Uh, I don't know. Let's say in a downloads folder for some reason. And you'll see it's called sample-demo, because that was the name of my project, dot DRA. Let's save that. We get an option uh, window here, a dialog. We do not need to save the render cache or the optimized media. All this does is slows down the process and bulks up this project archive for no reason because the optimized media and the cache will be recreated anyway by DaVinci Resolve. So I really wish these options either weren't here at all, um, I prefer they weren't here at all, <laughs> or unchecked by default because I've never found an occasion where I want to export these. That's how long it takes. It took like half a second to do this. So let's close. And um, and actually, I'm going to exit right out of DaVinci. I'm done in here for now. There we go. And uh, OK, so let's look at uh, where we stored that. Um, we put it in the downloads folder. Here it is, sample-demo.dra. Now you can see this is a folder. Uh, the DRA, by the way, stands for DaVinci Resolve Archive, and that is exactly what you want to see there. Inside here, there is a project file, and there is a folder for our media. And in this case, it holds just those three MOV files that we were using. So this is it. This can be backed up and should be backed up to a safe place. If you want to transfer this project to another computer, to, say to your laptop to use on the road, if you want to transfer this to someone you're, who needs to do post-production or color grading or work on this with you, you copy this folder. It's, it's perfect. It's a very, very simple way of managing your files. So what we essentially have here is... Uh, a sample database folder that is managed at all times by DaVinci Resolve, and we never need to even look at that. I could hide it down here. Uh, we have an assets folder, which is where we'll always be putting the, the audio files, the video files, any other sorts of documents that we need. If you want, you can manage this by project or do whatever you like inside here. It's just a convenient 
uh, folder on your hard drive that you can manage any way you like. You can back this up, of course, and you probably should. And then we will have these sample, uh, not these samples, but these DRA files, which are the complete project archives for backup purposes. And uh, let me just launch uh, DaVinci. Uh, resolve here, I've got a million and one programs. I'm gonna actually rename this to something like to something like new project. Um, now I'm just doing that for illustration purposes so that I'll show you the other side of this process. So we just looked at how to export a project. How do you import a project archive? So uh, I'll just wait for DaVinci. Here we go. Here's our sample demo. Now if we were on the receiving end of a project or we need to restore from a backup. We can right click here and say restore project archive. Exactly the opposite function. And we choose our DRA, we open, it brings it in um, and here it is, new project. If we look inside that, it will be identical to the one we had before because it is the same one we had before. We now have it imported uh, twice, actually. So, um, yeah, so that's how you can manage your projects in DaVinci Resolve. It's quite easy once you know what you're doing. It's quite easy once you realize um, that you can set up your own disk-based databases here. If you want, If you, you could do this on a project-by-project -project basis or a client-by-client -client basis, however you want to organize your information. I simply don't use the Postgres databases because then this information is not in a, a file folder I can easily investigate with the file manager. It's hidden away in a proprietary open source format, but still it's hidden away in a format that my operating system can't access so easily. For those of you on a Mac, and I do use uh, this same software uh, pretty well daily on a Mac. It's exactly the same process. Um, that's something I love about this tool is it doesn't really care what platform you're running on. Uh, I don't think there's any differences. It was just easier for me to make this uh, screencast or screen capture here on my Windows box, which is a bit more powerful than my laptop. So there we go. Close that. Do we want to save? Nah, I don't want to save that duplicate project. Hope this has helped. Um, thanks for watching.